Still another Finale note entry method is hyperscribe entry, where you use a MIDI keyboard to play in the notes to a metronome beat. There are several ways to use this note entry method, allowing anyone with or without piano skills to use it successfully. I will use the violin one part of the Mozart Symphony 28 string quartet score to demonstrate hyperscribe entry. It is assumed that you have your MIDI keyboard plugged into your computer and that it is working with Finale. Before using Hyperscribe, set up these recording parameters in Finale in order to notate the music accurately. Click on the Hyperscribe tool, the tool with pictures of a keyboard and microphone. Click on the Hyperscribe menu that goes with the tool. We have a few things to set up under the first three items under this menu before we enter notes. Under the first item, Beat Source, Playback, and or Click. Next to MIDI Input Tempo, highlight Use This Tempo button. This allows you to set your metronome speed for recording only. Just remember, when playing in the notes, it's always better to record at a slower tempo in order to notate the music accurately. Once the notes are entered, you can always go back and change the playback tempo. Next, to Beat Equals, click on the unit of beat for your metronome click. Next, to Start Signal for Recording, the default setting is already set to None, Record Immediately. Click on the Click and Count Off button. The default count off in the Measures box is two bars for free before the recording begins. You may change this number if desired. All other items are default settings and don't need changing. Click OK and OK. Back to the Hyperscribe menu under the second item, Record Mode. Here we can choose to record into one staff, playing in with one hand only. This option is used most often. The other option is split into two staves to play in both hands at the same time. In order to record with both hands simultaneously, you would need at least a four octave MIDI keyboard and you would need to set up a split point between the treble and bass staves. For this demo, I will just record into one staff. Back to the Hyperscribe menu under the third item, Hyperscribe Options. The most important item to set in this window is the Quant Settings button, which stands for Quantization. Quantization is the smallest note value you will be entering in your score. Look at the music you will be playing to determine the smallest note value and then set the quantization accordingly. You can change this setting as needed to accommodate various sections of a score. Under Smallest Note Value, click on the smallest note value that you will be entering. Click the No Tuplets button, which is the most often used option. If you're entering triplets, you would need to choose Space Notes Evenly in Beat. Click OK and OK. Just a note. A metronome marking in your score will override any slower hyperscribe tempo that you set for recording. We'll delete the marking from the score now, hyperscribe in the notes, and then add the marking back to the score when we're finished. Playing in the pitches and rhythm together. Click on the start measure. The metronome click starts and a note entry box appears on the staff. Wait for the two bar count off. Play in the notes and rhythm to the metronome beat. Play legato and hold notes for their full value. Do not play articulations, they will be entered separately. Click anywhere on the page to stop recording. Another hyperscribe option would be to play in the pitches and rhythm separately. 
Click on the Start Measure. The metronome click starts and a note entry box appears on the staff. Wait for the two bar count off. Using only one key on the MIDI keyboard, play in the rhythm only. Click anywhere on the page to stop recording. Highlight the Repitch tool in the Simple Entry palette under the eraser. To highlight the first note you want to repitch, on Windows, Control click on the note. On Mac, Option click. Play in the correct pitches on the MIDI keyboard. The rhythms will remain the same, but new pitches will be entered. When finished entering the pitches, double click on any note value in the Simple Entry palette to turn off the Repitch tool. Click out of the Simple Entry tool so the keyboard does not remain active. After entering the notes, if you have a few errors to fix, you can clean up your recording by manually editing the notes with the Simple Entry tool. If you need to start in a certain measure to re-record, click in the measure, wait for the two bar count off, and record over your existing recording. If you prefer, you can also undo the recording by pressing Ctrl Z on Windows, that's Command Z on Mac, and record the example again. If you need to retranscribe a portion of the existing recording with the correct quantization, use the Selection tool to highlight the region. Click on the MIDI Audio menu, Quantization Settings. Select the new quantization setting and click OK. Click on the MIDI Audio menu, Retranscribe. When all notes have been entered, to add the metronome marking back to your score, using the Expression tool, double-click in Measure 1. Click on the Tempo Markings category. Select the tempo marking you deleted earlier and click Assign to add it back to your score. Save your work.